What is going on guys? It's Kenny One Life back at it with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the top free SEO websites or tools that you can go to to do some SEO research, absolutely free. I'm trying to show you as many free things as possible because I know how hard it is sometimes to purchase all these SEO tools or SEO products to do research for your website. Obviously, you don't need these tools, but sometimes these tools do make it a lot easier to do research. So welcome to the channel. My name is Kenny One Life. Like I said in the beginning, uh, in my channel, I like to teach you about online business, entrepreneurship, how to work from home, um, making money online, entrepreneurship, different things like that. Everything that I learn, I try to teach you on this channel. Um, typically everything that I, you know, give you on here, I try to give you absolutely free uh, because I don't want you to pay money for courses and things like that because all the information is out there for free, but it just takes a little bit more work. If you got work and dedication, you can be able to do this. Now, if this is something that you like and you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know that you subscribe so I can welcome you to the channel. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below so more people can watch this video. Uh, so let's just get straight into my laptop, get into my computer. Let me show you exactly what I'm seeing on my screen so I can show you these tools and these websites that you can use immediately because uh, they're absolutely free. Alrighty, so let's get into this. The first one we have here that I have found myself, <laughs> the way that I found this is from an actual um, Google Chrome extension that I have, which is up here, which is called Keywords Everywhere. Sometimes they have some little advertisement on the side. And I clicked it and it's an absolutely free keyword finder. Um, if you don't know what Keywords Everywhere is, it's a free Chrome extension that I'm not really gonna talk about in this video because I actually made another video on the best uh, free SEO Google Chrome extensions that you could download. And the link will be in the description for that or you might see a card somewhere up here that you can click on. But anyway, so what this app does is it obviously does keyword finder exactly what it says it finds keywords for you and you can put up to 10 keywords on the search now with these uh tools that i'm going to show you i'm not going to go super in depth with them you are going to have to do your own research try them out to see how you like them because i don't want this video to be extremely long because i do value your time and i'm trying to give you as much content as possible but in the shortest time that i can because obviously you don't want to watch this video for an hour um, you could if you want to, and it's going to benefit me the longer the video is and the more you watch. But, you know, I like to, you know, not make the video long so you can have time to do other things like actually put this into practice. But anyways, so let me search something here. I always like to search hiking. I don't know why. But let's put hiking here. And what it's going to do, it's going to keep searching results for hiking what i found out when i was using this is sometimes you might have to click the stop button because it's going to keep searching forever and forever and these results are going to keep keep going up and up uh so what i would do is wait till it gets pretty high and just click stop and it'll stop and then you can start searching what's pretty cool is that they give you obviously the monthly value every single month they give you this uh cost per click of this actual keyword and then they give you the competition uh, it kind of reminds me of keywords everywhere keywords everywhere kind of does this but it's not going to give you all these different other keywords that are relevant to that keyword that you put into the search result it also gives you the trend for the last 12 months of the specific keyword and you can look at this and see if there's a trend like for example hiking apps it's actually starting to trend up and more people are actually searching for hiking apps and the competition on this is only 0.13. So those of you guys that are out there that are in the hiking niche, niche um, you can actually uh, get onto here and make a blog post about hiking apps, top 10 best hi hiking apps. Um, and then you would probably rank on this because competition is not too high. Uh, what I like to do on here is I like to use the filter so you can sorted by competition because what you're looking for is when you're first starting a blog you're looking for specific blog articles that you can create that are not very competitive and then you can get in there quick so you can start ranking on specific keywords 
So I would search it by competition. You can put it however you want. 0.3 and lower is probably pretty good. And you can search here. And then just go through here. You can also put positive keywords here. And that's pretty much it. It has a whole bunch of pages. You can go to a whole bunch of pages. You can, uh, you know, organize it by monthly searches, by call per click, um, by the actual competition. But yeah, so I'm not going to get too into this. You can just, all this will be in the link in the description. You can check it out below. And that's the first one, Keyword Finder. Let's go to the next one. A lot of people already know about this, which is called Uber Suggest. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm always burping on camera, but, and sorry guys, if you guys hear, I know in like the last two videos, you're probably hearing like a sound, like I'm on an airplane. Um, I'm not actually on an airplane. Uh, my laptop, this Mac pro, when it starts overheating, cause I use this, I use this laptop all day, every day doing my work, um, uh, doing these videos, doing research. And it, the fans turn on and that's what you're hearing is you're hearing the fans. So I'm sorry if you hear that noise. I really don't know what else to do because I have to make these videos. So whatever. Um, yeah, so this is Uber Suggest, not the actual Uber, which is like the ride lift service. But this is Uber from Mel Patel. He actually created this free um, keyword research tool. It's pretty much like the last one. And you can use this absolutely free. Obviously, it doesn't go in depth because it's free, but you can use this. And what can I more say? It's what can more I say? What more? Anyways, so you can go in here and search. So I'm gonna do hiking. Actually, I'm gonna do hiking on this one. And let's do hiking on this one. I'm just curious. I want to see the difference in these, right? Thing loading I'm confused okay here we go so let's see SEO diff is. so th the cool thing is you know uber suggests actually shows you the SEO difficulty score of that specific keyword which is hiking um, page difficulty they put it as easy and then it gets 201,000 search let me go over here uh, they don't have hiking. I don't know why they don't have the specific search term hiking on here. All right, let's put hiking boots, right? Hiking, or no, I just it's already here. So hiking boots gets 135. Let's search hiking boots. See the difference in results. I obviously always go with the lower, but you can use two different. Uh, tools just to compare them. So this one that has 135 monthly years searches a month and this one has 90 and then paid difficulty is 100% SEO difficulty and the cool thing they have the last 12 months I believe this is just like the other one but it gives you an actual bar and it shows you how many searches each month has which is cool it shows you all the relevant and then you can actually view all to view all the keywords um, it shows you also, what is this, uh, SEO difficulty. So it shows you how difficult it is to rank for that specific keyword. And it shows you the page title URL. So I guess these are the people that are actually ranking for these, I believe. Uh, and then they also have like keyword ideas that you can use that they give you other keyword ideas, exactly what the keyword finder does. If this thing can ever load. Yeah, so they give you keyword ideas here and then you I'm pretty sure oh you can't so the downfall for this one you can't organize it um, by difficulty it won't allow you but on keyword finder you can you can organize it by difficulty score and check which one's the best one you can export it to, to a CSV file like Google uh, Sheets or uh, Excel and then they got content ideas on here for hiking boots so they give you other articles that people have about hiking boots and then they have a whole bunch of other stuff, which I'm not going to get too much into, but I just wanted to give you the overall uh, idea of Uber Suggest. All right, so now let's go to the next one here. Next one we have here is pretty awesome. I'm going to start from the homepage here, take this off, delete it, 
this is something I was searching. So can I rank this specific website is specifically for you to do research on your own website. Now, what I did is I did research on another website. I did research on another website and you can do the same thing. You can look up other competitors with this, but I'm going to take this website. I always use this website as a reference. I don't know why, but they're getting searches because of me. And let's go here and then you can put primary keyword. Let's put hiking because I believe that's about hiking. Then you put save. You don't have to do any of this, but this is to make everything more uh, accurate. So what category um, feature or category page? If you're trying to go specific blog post or product page, um, and then you have things, but I just skipped this and then you got the competitors URL if you want to put competitors, but I skipped that as well because I just want to show you exactly what you can do f with this specific website. It's super cool. They actually, this website gives you advice on things you can do, um, things you can change, how to improve, what you need to improve so you can get a higher domain authority score, what you need to improve to get a better page score um and different things like that it does take a little bit of time for this to load um so that's one of the downfalls with this because it's actually scraping everything for you but so you can have an idea of i'm trying to explain everything for you so i'm just going to let this load and then i'll fast forward this for you so you don't have to you know sit here and just watch me watching this all right so i'm back here this is taking way too long so instead of me just waiting uh for this to be complete i'm actually going to go to the next one and i'll come back to this one here so the next one we have is mobile friendly test uh this is an actual google so you can search that google.com test mobile friendly and this is a good website to check to see if your website is mobile friendly and it'll tell you some issues that the specific website has so if i use the example that i always use test URL I think it's time for me to actually go hiking since I'm always searching this hiking stuff never actually went hiking I like the concept though okay so hopefully this doesn't take a very long time to load up here like the last one but I'm gonna be patient All right, so it loaded up here. Uh, it tells you right here. So tested on September 6, 2019 at 5.03. Page is mobile friendly. It gives you the page here. Open site wide mobile report. It gives you like a whole mobile report if you do it here. I'm not gonna do all that. Uh, and it also shows you page lo loading issues. So uh, page partially loaded. Some all pages resources could be loaded. This can affect how Google sees and understands your page. Fix uh, availability problems for any resources that can affect how Google understands your page. And then it'll give you a list of six page resources you could, uh, resources couldn't be loaded. So these are the pages that couldn't be loaded and it gives you an insight on what stuff you have to fix, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this one's really short, sweet, and simple. It just allows you and shows you if your actual website is mobile optimized and this is good because this actual website is specifically by google so if you're approved by google and you, google says you're mobile optimized you're okay and good to try to rank on google because google looks at mobile mobile ugh. <laughs> google looks at mobile optimization as a really big thing now because mostly people search on mobile these days and they do on laptops all right, so next one we have here, which is pretty cool. I freaking love this app. I love the home screen with the little video and the bald guy and his gray beard looking like Santa Claus. But I love this app. It's a really good app. It's called Answer the Public. So what you typically do is you come down here and you type in a specific keyword. As you can see, I typed in so many stuff. Sometimes this is how I get my uh, YouTube video ideas because it actually shows questions. And if you get this, get this website, go on this website and have keywords everywhere and use those together, it is so powerful. So I'm gonna put hiking in here. 
So you can put whatever keyword. The free version allows you to do a certain amount of searches each day, uh, but you don't really need to do too many. Like if your topic, like let's say you were building a blog just about hiking, you just need to put it in one time. And then what it'll do, it's gonna search things, questions that people uh, usually answer with hiking. Uh, so they got 152 hiking questions. You can search it visually, which it shows you a visual here, or you can do it by data. And this is what I like to do because you see this here, this is keywords everywhere. Keywords everywhere is telling you how many searches does this specific phrase give you. And this is a good way to find long tail keywords that you would ne never find if you would never search on uh, enterthepublic.com. You can also export it. If you can see down here on the bottom, export CSV, you can export everything on this page and put it onto like Google Sheets, uh, what I like to use, or you can use Excel and it will give you a spreadsheet and then you can organize it by, you know, search volume. You can also organize it by how, how competitive it is and different things like that which is awesome. I'm going to go through here, see if I can see something like, for example, hiking meaning is searched 2,400 times a month, uh, hiking quotes, hiking puns. I don't know what that means. Hiking the PCT, maybe that's the Pacific. I don't know what that is, but as you can see, I have a settings on my, um, keywords everywhere that highlights a specific, um, setting so like for example if i want to it to highlight um any keywords that have over a thousand over a thousand keywords a month it will do that if i wanted it to highlight keywords that have uh competitiveness lower than 40 percent uh 0.40 it'll do that so you can actually set those settings and like i said i will have a link in the description of a video of keyword research and all the keyword research tools that I use that you can actually download for Chrome, Google Chrome. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. This is something that you can use. And as you can see, it gives you all the numbers here on specifically hiking, shows you how many searches it has. And yeah, so let's actually go back to opportunities. Cool. So can I rank finally loaded? I believe it really depends on how big your website is, how many competitors you have, because it's literally analyzing everything for you. And once it analyzes everything, it's going to give you all the data. You use this specific website to see what things can you improve. They will give you help, give you insight. What do you need to exactly do? Uh, so let's go to the top and start working our way down. So they have the dashboard here, which gives you the overall everything, content, optimization, and gives you the percentage. Um, and then it shows you here, total ad value of keyword ranking. It's just 1,930,000. Uh, so what this is, so he's uh, 80 plus numbers of keywords ranking in the top 20 on Google. So he has this person that specifically owned this website has 80 plus keywords that are ranking the top 20. And by the cost per click of those keywords, he is the, the value of all those keywords is $1.9 million. Total search volume that those keywords get are 2 million. And then uh, number of pages indexed by Google is 297,000. So this gives you insight, really good insight on your specific website, um, telling you what like your specific value of all those keywords and everything. Um, and it shows you, you know, your domain authority, your page authority. There's other, obviously there's other um, tools that do that as well. Um, number of links to entire website. This website has 5 million links and then unique website linking is 63,000. So obviously this website is a really good website. It has high domain authority, has a lot of links and everything. Uh, it shows you how many Facebook likes, Facebook shares, Pinterest shares, and it shows you all that here. So that's on the dashboard. Now let's go to performance or marketing. 
So in here, it's going to show you your website and how good are you doing compared to all your other competitors. So this website, it's 77% better than the rest of the competitors that are in his specific niche. And if you go down here, it will show you your website, your content authority, your content, your authority, your optimization, and your socials. This website's really good. It has content and authorities at 100, socials at 93, optimization needs work. So it's showing you which areas in your website do you actually need to work on, which is awesome. Uh, and let's keep going. This is pretty cool as well. Um, so these are goals that you can actually put for yourself on this specific website. Here, let me move this up. So add relevant text content to your home page. They only have one relevant text content. And if you go up to three, it's actually going to make the home page better. Uh, don't get too many low quality links. So they only have two, which is good. And then rank for a thousand valuable keywords. They're ranked for 120. So they, their next goal should be to rank for at least a thousand. So they have more work to do. Um, and then it shows you how many goals they already achieved. So you can actually go through here and use these as setting your goals. So you can be able to, um, rank better for different things and getting text and it'll give you this goal. So these can, this can be something that you can work on for your specific website. Let's go to the next thing, opportunities. One of the best things on this website, it shows you the opportunities and it does it by best. So the best opportunities that you can take 98%, um, I don't know what this 98% is. Maybe it's like the relevancy or maybe it's like the overall score of relevancy, authority and optimization, but it shows you projected product value is $674. Uh, what that means is that the value of connecting with bloggers from hiking for her will be worth $674. Um, so this is how much revenue you can possibly get uh, for that. I believe that's what it means. Or maybe that's the actual traffic value uh, would be too. So you can go through here and look. So a blogger just wrote about hiking at blah, blah, poor, excellent hiking blogs, HTML. So you can, so what it's telling you here is that a blogger made a blog about excellent hiking blogs. You can get in contact with them, check to see if all their links are working. If their links are not working, you get in contact with them and say, Hey, I have an amazing blog for hiking. Um, I would like to, for you to add me on your list of the best hiking blogs. Boom. She adds you to your list. You have another link to your website and you are projected to get, you know, 674 extra dollars, maybe each month, uh, to your specific website, or this can probably gain the value of your website. Now this one here has 511,000. Uh, so high potential ranking bike. Um, maybe I think what this website's showing that they're not ranking for bike at all. If they rank for bike, it, they can go up in the value of 511,000. Um, and an estimated time to actually do this is seven hours or it takes seven hours to get that ranking. I'm not sure what this exactly means. You would have to go into this. I was just doing this research myself to look into this so I can explain this a little bit better. Um, but as you can see, so congrats, you're now ranking seventh for a very valuable keyword, which is bike. This keyword gets searches search 246,000 times a month and advertisers are willing to pay 0.63 per click for each of these searchers. Uh, top ranking for uh, keywords like this don't come easily, but we have some suggestions for changes you can make to WWE bikes in order to rank better and capture more of this traffic for yourself. Completing our recommendations would drive an additional 1.8 million visitors, saving you $511,000 in advertising costs. So they can get potentially 1.8 million visitors, which can save them 511. And that's what this value is. So it's valued at that much because that's how much you would pay to advertise to get that same traffic. Now, if they take their suggestions and they actually do it, they can actually potentially get 1.8 more million view, uh, visits each, I believe month, I believe this is. 
Uh, so this is cool. I, this is the reason why I like this website. This website gives you good insights on your specific website, what you can do, what to you know focus on, because this will get you the best return if you focus on this now. Another one here is uh, so W Stores Bike Shop .html, one of your highest potential pages currently blah blah blah, which ranks fourth in bicycle shops keywords and search hundred times. So there's show them how to improve this so they can get more searches um, more visits each month guest post opportunity so look they give you options to do guest posting um, on other blogs so you can get more traffic which can be a potential of one point uh, one thousand six hundred twenty dollars of worth uh, but this gives you ideas on what you can do what not to do the best things to do for your specific website so you can get more visits and more traffic let's go to something else i know this video is going extremely long i'm not going to go through everything else in here uh but you can actually look at this website it's absolutely free obviously there's a upgraded version you can upgrade but you don't have to what they already give you right now is so valuable and you can use it for your website as we speak Alrighty guys, so those are one of the best free SEO tools that you can use right now um, to help you build and rank your website or blog if that's something that you're trying to do. Now I know there are so many more other free SEO websites that you can use, but this is the ones that I found that are actually pretty good. Um, there's tons of them. I was searching online you know, to do a little bit more research on the top best ones. There's probably better ones than these, but these are the ones that I found. But there's blogs that talk about 30, 80 different free SEO tools that you can use. And I'm not trying to make this video freaking five hours long just to give you every single website. You can do your research for that, but I just give you an idea on stuff that you can use right now. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know that you subscribe. And if you want to watch another video, click over here and I will be waiting until you click that subscribe button.